effects maker. This is a really nice plugin for Unity because it allows you to not only have a bunch of base particles that you can use at any time, but also allows you to build on top of those. So you have your defaults in here, which are like these flare, nice lens flare. And then you also have some that go on the ground for different effects. You have your line, meshes, your different ring. Here's your verticals. So all these are really nice, but what if you need something a little different? What if you want to build on top of it? Well, that's what makes this a really cool asset because you're able to have your own separate project files up here. They're also separated in groups, but then you get to make your own little particles. So here I've made a little trail particle that has like little bits coming off of it. And the idea for this particle was I needed something that looked like it was drawing a line. So this particle, when it moves, depending how fast it moves, it draws a line behind it, as you can see. So if it's kind of slow, it has a small line, but depending how fast it is, it has a bigger line. And the little bitty particles emitting from it kind of follow behind it. So it makes a nice little kind of fairy effect. And then there's also a firework effect. As you can see, this one, it's launching up in the air and then exploding. And the way you're able to do this in here is I took one effect, which is this trail line right here. And you're able to go into this different settings for this thing right here, right here. You see this curve and this right here is kind of like a preview bar kind of shows you what's happening. And in here you have the default transform that you can change. And here you have the curves. This is really cool because instead of having to like fidget it with the default unity every single time you want to get a certain shape, this one has a lot of preset shapes in here. So say I need some more of like a back and forth zigzag. And you can see right here it's going up and down, up and down. This one's kind of like a boomerang effect. It goes up, hits its peak, kind of flat lines on that peak for a little bit and comes back. So that causes a nice boomerang. This one causes a wave. So this is nice. There's just a whole list of curves to use. Or you can go in here, like the normal thing, and just create your own curve like I've done here. Because I needed to, I wanted a little bit more of a bend to kind of slow down then it gets to the the climax where it tries to stop for a second and then that one disappears because that's the end of the particle and then I spawn this other particle effect which is which is these two spark particles and the way I created this was all I had to do was choose new effect And I start out with the base default, nothing's in here. And you just start off by hitting the prefab and you kind of go for something you want. Um, let's see, why don't I have some kind of flare out? So there you go, there's a nice little preview. Uh, that's not exactly what I wanted. Here we go. This one, this one will have a cool effect. I like this one. So I'm going to choose close. And now I have this flare. But now I need something a little bit more. And this is not doing much yet. So. Mm, I'm going to duplicate it. Let's see. You see it's just doubling up on the same thing. But now I don't want that same one. Um, let's see. Let's go over to... Let's see what might have a cool ball. I want a ball. I want something that calls a ball in there. 
That looks pretty cool. I like that idea. Oh, that's 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 the, that's the effect I want right there. Maybe a some kind of like weapon discharge, something like that. It's pretty nice. I don't want two of these though. That's the only downside of this. See, I messed up and I can't undo it now. So but it's not a big deal. I got exactly what I wanted back. I just had to do it again. So now I have this cool effect, um, and the way it makes it is pretty nice because it has this one thing that it parents everything under. So if I click this, I can move the whole particle. But if I click this, I can move the one part of the particle. See, I move the whole flare up, and this mask ball is parented under it, which is this thing. So now it's just launching that off from the point, which isn't what I really want. And you see how I have this all up here now? If you want it to go back up here, you can just reset it. And it pops it back down for you. And I'll reset the world order too. So, uh, let's see. Also created a regular fireworks effect. So if something goes right, like aim for like a child's kind of game. Something goes good and correct. This just fires off. Same thing with this. This was I wanted to make a projectile kind of space weapon. And this is what I was playing with. So I'm able to have this trail zigzag back and forth over the main projectile that fires straight. So the really the main limit on this program is just what your imagination can come up with it's it's a really fun thing to play with but now I'm going to show you the functionality of the fairy trail which was came in handy and I had the actual idea of the effect when I started making it so it made for a really solid effect <laughs> 